some banana passion fruit here. Yes. Why is this a problem? Right, well, this one might be a bit controversial because people like eating this. Yeah, it's quite pretty. <laughs> and it's very pretty, it is, yeah. And although it was only picked this afternoon, its um, flowers have gone a bit limp already, unfortunately. But um, like the old men's bed we talked about earlier, it, it's very aggressive and in, in, in a lot of ways it's perhaps even worse because it doesn't lose its leaves in the winter, so it's got that constant weight on the native vegetation all the time. Yeah. And if you take a a drive around the, um, what's colloquially called the Grove Track from Picton to, to Havelock uh, and have a look up in the, in the really nice native bush up there, you'll, you'll see a lot of it being destroyed by banana passion fruit. Um, and the, there's a couple of different ones. So this one here has actually got the round fruits on it. Yeah. Um, but we also have quite a common one, which is elliptical and, and yellow, real banana, which is where it gets its name from. Right. Um, and... You're not allowed to propagate and distribute this, so you can't grow it at home, although yeah. lots of people do. So. Yeah. so how did it get here? Was it from gardens originally? I'm, I'm guessing it was, yes. Yeah. I don't think it's ever been grown commercially, right. that I'm aware of. There, is, there was a guy here in Christchurch who's been working over a number of years trying to develop a commercial variety of it, right. um, but um, I don't believe it has been grown commercially. The black one is, but... Not this one. Yeah. And how does it spread throughout the country? Birds mainly. Birds yeah, like yeah. The bird. Yeah. We we like eating it, and so yeah. the, so the birds and yeah. and um, they certainly move it around quite long distances. And, yeah. Because um, it is quite a prolific fruiter, and it tends to fruit. Like you know, here we are. We're going into autumn. We've got fruit. We've still got yeah. flowers. Yeah. And and particularly in. Um, a milder climate like near the sea and places like that and it predominantly you do predominantly find it more in those areas um, than than further back in the foothill country but um, in those milder areas it, it will just flower and fruit all year round so, yeah. is it easy to identify uh, yeah I think it is mainly because the flowers are so distinctive yeah, and and as I say it it does tend to have flowers on it most of the year round yeah. the leaves are also fairly distinctive with a sort of little three finger jobbies type thing and they're quite sh glossy and um, but they feel rubbery you know, mm -hmm. as well so yep. um, but the uh, it is it is quite a wee beast to control so yeah. how do you control it uh, yeah well <laughs> <laughs> we um, you, you can treat it with a herbicide like a gorse herbicide but because it tends to grow over native trees and things um, that's not very often done yeah. because you're going to wipe pretty much everything out so um, usually it'll come back to hand pulling it or cutting and stump treating like we did with the right. old man's beard and the purple loose drive yep. um, yeah it, it's very labor intensive but it's a good yeah. tool and it works well the problem with this is that it suckers like nothing on earth and, right. and the vines are so thin you like um, you know these, these vines here might be quite old and and you go into a little patch of bush or, or some trees and, and you'll trace a few of these back and think you've got yeah. everything and yeah. come back a few weeks later and half the damn thing's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. And if you cut it right back, can it grow? It'll, gr it'll just grow between, straight back, yeah. If yeah. you don't treat it with herbicide, so yeah. it, that's something I didn't mention with the old man's beard either. You know, some people will just cut it or some people like right. to cut it and put a bit of diesel on it or okay. something like that yep. and, and it'll just go boof and, and it grows metres in a year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that you come back next year and you're back to square one again, really. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.